between the Colby Trojans and your Kansas City, Kansas Community College Blue Devils. And looking at it, we're going to start both at the lineups here for game at number two. First for the Trojans, leading off, and we we'll playing DH, number 24, Cassius Bradford. Batting second, and we're we'll playing right field, number 27, Gavin Sherry. Hitting third and playing third base, number 10, Carter Roth. Batting cleanup and playing left field, number 32, Isaiah Padilla. Hitting fifth and playing shortstop, number 7, Andrew Major. Batting sixth and playing center field, number 12, Lucas Vincent. Hitting seventh and playing... Oh, boy. How did I miss this out? Number 29, Zach Kostopoulos. Batting eighth and playing catcher, number 17, Jax Marn. Batting nine and playing second base, Alex Ellert, number nine. And then for the Trojans on the mound, number 26, Jack Schroeder. And now here for the Blue Devils, the starting lineup here for game number two. Leading off, we'll be playing second base, number two. Second and playing third base, number 10, Jackson Mervash. Hitting third and playing shortstop, number four, Garrett Goldbeck. Batting cleanup, playing DH, number 32, Brady Patterson. Hitting fifth and playing first base, number 26, Frankie Santiago. Let's see. Do I got everybody right here? Left we got Pachorik. Yeah, I got you. Okay, Nolan, okay. Batting sixth and playing left field, number 22, Freddie Nolan. Batting seventh and playing right field, number 34, Levi Martin. Batting eighth and playing catcher, number 48, Derek Olson. Batting nine, playing center field, number six, Brady Kern. And then for the pitcher for the Blue Devils, number 99, Caleb Deer. All right, here we go to the second game. Blue Devils take the first one, 16 to 9, I believe. Caleb Deer will be on the mound for the Blue Devils. He has a 3.18 ERA, and yet to have a decision, a tall lefty on the mound. He's from Overland Park, Kansas. He'll be on the mound for the Blue Devils. They'll have Nolan the fourth, Kern and Martin across the outfield behind him. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Santiago across the infield with Olsen behind the plate. The Colby Tigers will go with Bradford, Sherry, Roth, Padilla, Major, Vincent, Kostopoulos, Marn, Ellert with Schroeder on the mound. And here we are ready to go. Bradford starts the day batting 225. He stepped in to face Deer. And heads up for the bat. Hat out of the play all the way down to the workout area. Down behind. That bat went clear down to the workout area. Slipped out of his hand. Nonetheless, it'll be Owen won the count for the designated hitter, Cassius Bradford. Owen won the count, and that misses high and outside.
And that's up high, so three and one the count to Bradford. Blue Devils took the first game yesterday, 10-0. to Took the first game of the doubleheader today, 16-9. to And there's a leadoff walk to Cassius Bradford, the designated hitter. And that's going to bring up Gavin Sherry, the right fielder this game. Sherry was 0 for, excuse me, 1 for 3 in the first game, a fly out, a ground out, and a base hit with an RBI, or excuse me, not an RBI, but a stolen base, and there's a strike called. So Owen won the count on Sherry. There's strike 2 called. That's about as high of a strike as we've seen called all day long and it wasn't overly high just that's the height that we have not been seeing there's a throw over to first back in safely over there was Bradford there's a ball headed into right field that's going to be a base hit Martin up with that and in quickly and keeps Bradford at second base. So the base hit by Sherry into. That's going to bring up Roth. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Carter Roth. Roth, excuse me. Roth had two for four in the first game, had a single, a double, and a total of three RBI. And. Basler took a, took away another hit from him diving toward center field with a ground ball and then throwing him out. So he had a couple of hits with three RBI. There's a breaking ball for a strike, one and one the count. Second game of the doubleheader today. Matchup from across the east and the west part of The bracket, there is going to be a an RBI base hit for Roth. So a base on balls and a couple of base hits. And the Trojans are on the board, 1-0. That's going to bring up Padilla. Runners at first and second. Nobody out yet. That's up high. Padilla was one for four in the first game with a home run. That's outside. 2-0 and oh the count. Final game of the series, three-game series set instead of four. That's 3-0 and oh now. Nine-inning scheduled game. One run in here in the top of the first for the Trojans. And there's a strike called. Three and one. There's a ground ball headed at Goldbeck over to Basler and over to first for the 6 4 3 double play. That's going to bring up Andrew Major. Major will step in with two outs. He was 0 for 4 in the first game, had a fly out, a ground out, and a couple of strikeouts. That's way outside. Runner at third base is Sherry. Sherry had the base hit to right field. 
There's a strike right through there. One and one uh, count. There's a strike on the outside, outside, outside corner. One and two the count. That's a little bit up and out. Two and two the count, two balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a foul ball back to the screen. Just barely gets a piece of that one. Does Major, Andrew Major, the shortstop, to stay alive at the plate. There's a swing and a miss of the high heater. So the Trojans get one run on two hits. We go to the bottom of the first inning. The Trojans have one. Your Blue Devils coming up. I'll be back. All right, to the bottom of the first inning we go. Jack Schroeder on the mound for the Trojans. Schroeder has an 0-6 record, 11.31 ERA. Basler will step in on the left-handed side as a switch hitter. There's a strike called. Basler was one for three with a base hit and a ground out RBI and a couple of walks. There's a ground ball headed at the second baseman, Ellert. Ellert over to Kostopoulos for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Mervosh. Mervosh was one for three with an RBI base hit, a walk, and an RBI hit by a pitch. Takes ball one, one and oh, the count. On the third baseman, Jackson Mervosh. There's a ball headed down the right field line. That's going to be in the bullpen area of the Colby Tigers. One ball, one strike, one out here in the first. There's a ground ball just wide of the base down between Coach Goldbeck and the third baseman, Roth. Roth was at second base in the first game. He's at third base in this one. Ellert is at second base, so it's Padilla 
Vincent Sherry across the outfield, Roth Major Ellert Kostopoulos across the infield with Marn behind the plate and Schroeder on the mound. There's a ball hit it at the second baseman, Ellert. He's up with it and over to Kostopoulos for the second out of the inning, a couple of four, three ground outs. That's going to bring up Goldbeck. Goldbeck will step in with two outs and nobody on. Goldbeck was two for five in the first game with a couple of base hits. Yes, sir. And there's a base hit into right field. Got my fingers carry. messed up on the, on the camera. Sorry about that. So Goldbeck with the two out hit into right. And that's going to bring up Brady Patterson. Patterson was two for four in the first game. He had a two RBI double and a solo home run. So two hit three RBI in the first game. And Goldbeck is off and running. And a stolen base for Goldbeck. So now Goldbeck is in scoring position for the designated hitter, Brady Patterson. Patterson caught the first game. He's the designated hitter here in the second game. He's facing Jack Schroeder on the mound for That's high and outside. 2 and over the count on Brady Patterson. Pulls that one wide of Coach Goldback down at third base. So two and one that count. Breaking bubbles outside. Three and one the count. High pop up into left field. Padilla coming in and taking care of that. So Blue Devils get no runs on one hit. We go to the top of the second inning. Blue Devils trail Colby Trojans 1-0. I'll be back. Lucas Vincent, Vincent, sorry, 
is up. There's a foul ball out of play. Vincent was one for two with a double and a hit by pitch in the first game. There's a ground ball to Santiago for the 4-3 ground out. That's going to bring up Zach Kostopoulos. Kostopoulos, the first baseman in this game. He starts the day batting 188. Takes ball one. Turns on that one and fouls it down the left field line. Into the bullpen area, then back out onto the field. So one ball, one strike, one out, one run lead. By the Trojans from Colby College. The first baseman, Zach Kostopoulos, at the plate. That's inside. Two and one the count. That's way outside. Two and one the count. Excuse me, three and one the count. Swing and a miss of that pitch. So three balls, two strikes, and an out. There's ball four high and outside. So a one out walk to Kostopoulos. going to bring up Marn. He starts the day batting 133. He's the catcher in this second game. That stays up high. Want to know the count? Blue Devils trail by a run here in the top of the second inning. That's outside. Two and over count. There's a strike outside part of the plate at the belt. Two and one the count now. Stays up high, does that pitch? So three and one the count. Stays up high for ball four. So a ground out and then back to back walks. And the Trojans have runners at first and second. That's gonna bring up Alex Ellert. Ellert started the day batting 241. We're going to get a visit to the mound from Coach Goldback. Going to impart a little bit of wisdom. Probably, hey, throw strikes, make them earn it. We'll see. We'll be back. There's better turn my microphone back on. There's a strike called. Okay. 
Owen to the count. And a foul ball off of Olson. That's outside. One Blue Devils trail by one. Top of the second inning action. Nine inning scheduled game. That's outside. Two and two the count. One out. Runners at first and second. Vincent with the ground out. Then Kostopoulos walked and Marn walked. There's a ball headed into right field. Run coming to home and safe at home is Kostopoulos. So Ellert with the base hit into right field with an RBI. And now the lead is 2-0. It's going to bring up Bradford. Back to the top of the order and Bradford. Bradford is from Breckenridge, Colorado. So throw over to first back in safely is Ellert. Bradford reached on a base on balls his first time up. Typically that's a strike right there. Called a ball, one and oh the count. Comes the 1 0 from Deer. Swing and a miss of that heater. One ball, one strike, one out. One run in in this inning for the Trojans. They scored one in each of the first two innings so far. There's a swing and a miss. So one and two the count on Cassius Bradford, the designated hitter in the second game. Reached on a walk his first time up. And a swing and a miss for the strikeout. Okay, by Caleb Deer. That's going to bring up Sherry. Now batting the right fielder, number 27, Gavin Sherry. Sherry is from Denver, Colorado. Throw over to first, back in safely is Ellert. This is low and outside, 1 0 the count. Another throw over to first, nothing going on over there. It's a ground ball headed at Mervosh. Mervosh with the double clutch, and he still gets him over there. So a one-hopper that's backhanded by Santiago for the 5-3 ground out, and the Trojans get one run on one hit. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Blue Devils trailing 2-0. I'll be back.
All right, to the bottom of the second we go, Blue Devils trail by two. The Trojans put up one run in each of the first two tops of their innings. So 2-0 is the lead. They've got two runs on three hits. Blue Devils no send up Santiago, Nolan, and Martin. Santiago will step in. Santiago was 0-4-2 in the first game with three walks. He had a ground out that did yield a run. Strike for the first pitch. Owen won the count from Schroeder to Santiago. The ball headed into right field. Coming in to take care of that is Sherry. Nolan, the fourth, will be up the left fielder. Nolan, the fourth, he was 1-0 for 2 with a walk and did have a ground out that yielded a run. That's in the dirt. 2-0 the count on Freddie Nolan, the fourth. That's up high for ball three. There's ball four, that's too low. So a lead off walk to Nolan the fourth. It's gonna bring up Levi Martin. Martin was two for three in the first game with a double and a single, and the double unloaded the bases that were three walks, loaded them up, so three RBI. High on the infield is that. It's going to be taken by the shortstop major for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Olsen. Olsen, the catcher in this second game. Olsen starts the day batting 467. Throw over to first, back in safely is Freddie Nolan, the fourth. There's a strike called on when the count. Toss over to first, nothing going on over there. There's a strike. And the stolen base by Nolan the fourth. Owen oh, to the count on the catcher, Derek Olson. He now has a runner in scoring position after the walk in the stolen base by Nolan the fourth. That's high and inside. One and two, the count. Mm -hmm. 
That's down low. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two run lead for the Trojans. Curveball hit into right field, and Sherry makes a run in play coming in. So the Blue Devils get no runs on no hits. They had a walk. We go to the top of the third inning. Blue Devils trail the Trojans to Pitching change made by the Blue Devils, number 30, Donnie Johnson, comes in. He is from Paola, Kansas. He'll face. There's a ground ball. That was to Roth. And the ground ball to Goldbeck for the 6 3 ground out. Ground out tossed it over to Santiago. That's going to bring up Padilla. Johnson has a 6.93 ERA with a 3-1 record this season. There's a strike right through there. 0-1 the count. There's a foul back. Padilla is from Denver, Colorado. It's a high chomper, and that's going to bounce foul. Good thing that it did because such a high chop on it by the time Mervosh let it come back down, even loading up in his rifle and shooting it over to Santiago. Would have been too late to get Isaiah Padilla. Padilla hit into a 6-4-3 ground out. Go back to Basler to Santiago. In the first inning. On to the count on Padilla. The high fly ball to left field. That's Jeep going back. And that is... A home run by Padilla. Padilla puts that one out. Padilla, his last at bat in the last game was a home run. So.
So Padilla with the home run to left field. That makes it 3-0. It's going to bring up Major. Major steps in. There's a ball headed into right field, and that's going to be taken by Martin for the out. Major is Aurora, Colorado. It's going to bring up Vincent. Vincent is from Stoffville, Ontario. He takes ball one. So one run in on the home run by Padilla. That misses a little bit low. So one run in each of the top of the innings. First, second, and third to take a 3-0 lead for the Trojans, two and one that count now to Lucas Vincent, the center fielder. He grounded out to Basler at second base his last time up. Check swing, couldn't help it, went through. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Foul ball headed down toward the coach at third base. We'll do the 2-2 again. Way outside and way back to the screen. Three and two, the count now. High fly ball into left field. Kern comes over to take care of that. So the Trojans get one run on one hit. We go to the bottom of the third, Blue Devils trailing 3-0. I'll be back. All right, to the bottom of the third we go. Brady Kern will lead things off. Kern was one for three in the first. Got a fly out and an RBI double and also a walk. That's down low. Schroeder back for his third inning of work for Colby. There's a strike on the. One and one the count. Kern leads things off for the Blue Devils here in the bottom of the third. They trail by three. Breaking ball, and he fouls it back. One and two the count on Kern. If 
Foul ball back headed over to the soccer field. There's a practice going on over there now. There was a game over there earlier. Foul back to the screen. One and two the count. On the center fielder, Brady Kern. There's a ball headed into left field, and that's going to be caught. Sliding catch by Padilla for the first out of the inning. Now batting as second baseman, number two, P10, Basler. So back to the top of the order, and Basler. Basler is from Lansing, Kansas. He'll step in with one out, nobody on to face Jack Schroeder for the second time. He grounded out to the second baseman his first time. That ball is foul. Headed down there toward Coach Sharp. Owen won the Peyton Basler. There's a ball. One ball, one strike, one out, one run in the top of each of the first three innings, four. There's a ball headed into left field, and that's going to be a base hit. A base hit by Peyton Bessler. That's going to bring up Mervosh. That'll bring up Mervosh. He's from Lenexa, Kansas. He grounded out to Ellard at second base his first time up also. Toss over to first. Nothing going on over there. Basler back in safely. One out on the line out to Padilla in left. That's up high. Want to know the count on Jackson Mervosh, the third baseman for the Blue Devils? Runner goes and fouled off. Basler will retreat to first. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. One run scored in each of the first three innings for Colby. Breaking ball right through there. Started out high, broke down to the zone. One and two the count now. Toss over to first, Basler back in. One and two the count. You'll find out how picky the buttons are on that stinking thing. Scoreboard. There the runner goes, and then he retreats. No. That ball is yes, at the base of the, the wall. And Mervosh with the RBI base hit. So there's one of the runs recouped. It's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. Three to one now, the score. Goldback is from Kansas City, Kansas. He had a base hit into right field his first time up and a stolen base. A high fly ball into center field. Vincent is going to take care of that and head it over to third. 
is Mervos, so the sack fly gets the runner to third base. Now batting the DH number 32, Brady Patterson. That's going to bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in now with two outs and a runner at third. Patterson is from Auburn, Kansas. He steps in with a runner at third. That ball misses a little bit low. Schroeder in his third inning of work for the Trojans. That's up high. 2-0 and the count now. On the designated hitter, Brady Patterson, he caught the first game. Designated hitter here in the second game. Is that a foul ball? I believe that's going to be out of play. No, it was not out of play. The wind brought that back, but also made it to where Kostopoulos could not track it down. So Patterson gets reprieve on that. Two and one the count. Gets another chance. The ground ball hit it at the shortstop major. He's up with it and over to Kostopoulos for the 6-3 ground out. So the Blue Devils get one run on two hits. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Blue Devils trailing Colby 3-1. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the fourth we go. Kostopoulos, Marn, and Ellert scheduled up. Donnie Johnson back for another inning of work. Kostopoulos is from Cheyenne, Wyoming. There's a line drive at Basler. Basler catches that up to the glove side for the first out. It's going to bring up Marn. Now batting the catcher, number 17, Jax Marn. Marn is from Olathe, Kansas. Steps in with one out and nobody on to face Johnson. That's outside ball one. Want to know the count. Marn walked his first time up. That's low and outside. Two and oh the count. Did the Royals go ahead and win today? Eleven to seven. Eleven to seven. The Royals with the winner today. Two and oh, the count here. Foul ball back and into the screen. Where are you from? Yeah, I 
Foul ball back to the screen, so two and two the count. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Blue Devils trailing three to one here in the top of the fourth inning. Nine inning scheduled game. First game went to the Blue Devils. They won it 16 to nine in seven innings. Little nubber, and that's going to be taken by Goldbeck. Goldbeck takes care of that. Now batting the second baseman, number nine, Up, Ellert. Ellert is from White City, Saskatchewan. Breaking ball stays up and in. One and oh the count. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. Ellert had an RBI base hit his first time up. There's a hit by a pitch. Back to the top of the order. Now the DH number 24, Cassius Bradford. Cassius Bradford. He's reached on a base on balls and been out on a strikeout. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. Johnson on in relief of Deer. Foul ball back to the screen. Quickly on to the count. On the leadoff hitter originally to the game, the designated hitter Cassius. Bradford. Foul ball back into the net. We'll do the 0-2 again. Toss over to first by Johnson. No tag by Santiago, so very safe was Ellert. The ground ball headed through the right side. That's going to be a base hit. And stopping at second base is Ellert. So Bradford, one for two with a base hit in this one. That's going to bring up the right fielder, Gavin Sherry. He's had a base hit and a ground out to the third baseman. Base hit to right field. Be up there with runners at first and second and two outs. There's a strike called. Way outside. One and one the count, two outs now. Top of the fourth inning action, game two of the day, final game of the series, three game series. There's a ball headed into right field. That's gonna be down. We'll see if we're gonna have a play at the plate and that's an RBI base hit for Sherry. That's going to bring up Roth. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Carter Roth. It's outside for ball one. 
Roth is one for two in this second game. Hit an RBI base hit and a ground out to go back at shortstop. Foul ball back to the screen. I believe it's one and one. There's a foul ball back to the screen. So one and two, I believe. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two on. That's up high. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Outside. So three and two in the is the count. The Trojan runners will be off and running with the pitch. Four to one the lead for the Trojans here. That was taken by Santiago. So one run on two hits for the Trojans. They have a four to one lead. We go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Thanks for being with me, I'll be back. All right, Santiago, Nolan, and Martin scheduled up. Santiago flew out to right field his first time up. There's a strike right through there. Home won the count on Santiago. One and one the count. Schroeder back for another inning of work. Stays outside. Trojans leading the Blue Devils four to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Nine inning scheduled game. There's a swing and a miss. Two and two the count. Three and two the count now. Santiago at the plate. And there's a hit by a pitch. Santiago no, is from no, Calle, no, Puerto no, Rico. No. Gonna bring Nolan the fourth. Nolan the fourth is from Fort Worth, Texas. He had a base on balls his first time up and had a stolen base. Santiago is down at first base. Blue Devils trail by three. 
They bat here in the bottom of the fourth. Breaking ball through there for a strike. 0 and 1 the count. That's up high. 1 and 1 the count. Toss over to the first. Nothing going on over there. Costopoulos catch, excuse me, at first for the second game. Gagnon played there the first game. Breaking ball. There's a ball headed into right field. Comes in to take care of that is Sherry. So one out with a runner at first. That's going to bring up Levi Martin. He's from Olathe, Kansas. He popped out on a high pop out behind pitcher's mound taken by the shortstop major. The ball headed into center field. It's going to be taken care of by the center fielder, Vincent. So a hit by Nick fly outs, and we got two outs and a runner at first base. Now batting the catcher, number 48, Derek Olson. That's going to bring up Olson. He's from Westminster, Colorado. He'll step in with two outs and a runner at first base. He flew out to Sherry in right field his first time up. There's a ball headed for the Grass in right field and hit it over to third is Santiago. A single by Derek. Olsen with the base hit to right field, and that's going to bring up Brady Kern. Now batting the center fielder, number six, Brady Kern. Kern is from Lawrence, Kansas. He'll be up there with two outs, two on, runners at the corners for the Blue Devils. He had a line drive to left field his last time up. See if he can get something on the outfield grass. There's a strike right through there. That's low on the inside. outside runner headed to second base the catcher Marn decides not to throw so runners are now at second and third so two runners in scoring position there's a strike called outside corner at the knees Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Foul ball headed over to the soccer field. We'll do the 2-2 again. Foul ball headed back over there again. Going to have catcher interference, I believe. So the hitter, Kern, will head 
The catcher not thinking he was going to swing at the high ball. Got his glove up there. So back to the top of the order and Basler, and the bases are loaded with two outs. Basler will be up there on the left-handed side. Bases loaded. That's high and outside. Basler's grounded out to Ellard at second base and had a base hit that he shot through the hole between third and short. And the Bach is called in all. Move up and a run scores on the Bach. Makes it four to two. And there's a fly ball to right field taken care of by Sherry for the third out of the inning. So the Blue Devils four after four, the Kobe Trojans lead four to two. gets a run on the balk with Blue the bases Blue loaded. Blue we go to the top of the fifth Blue inning. Blue Devils trailing four to two. All right, Padilla, Major, and Vincent scheduled up for the Trojan. Padilla takes low ball one. Padilla hit into a 6-4-3 ground out in the first. In the third, he had a solo home run. There's a strike inside corner at the knees. One and one the count. Blue Devils trail four to two here in the top of the fifth. There's a strike outside corner at the knees. Not sure why Padilla is shaking his head there. Maybe because the pitcher threw two good pitches that were not real hittable pitches. There he fouls that one away rather than thinking it wasn't a strike. Those two pitches have been strikes all day long. One and two the count now. He spoiled that one and earned another pitch, did Padilla. He's a left fielder in this game. That's low and outside. Two and two the count. Padilla was the third baseman in the first game. And that's off the helmet for a hit by pitch. So a leadoff hit by pitch. Now batting the shortstop, number seven, Andrew Major. It's 
going to bring up Andrew Major. Major is 0 for 2 in this one, a strikeout and a fly to Martin in right field. Runner at first base is Padilla. I missed the first pitch seeing this umpire always makes his call out in front of him and it makes it hard to tell sometimes whether it's a strike or not. 2-0 the count we believe. Olsen going to go out and visit with Johnson a bit. This is Johnson's third inning of work. Caleb Deer went two innings. Johnson has been in since. Two and one the count now. Two balls, one strike, nobody out. Runner at first. Swings through that breaking ball, does major. Runner goes, pitches outside, and just a little bit late and safe with the stolen base is Padilla. So three and two the count now on Major. Foul ball headed down the left field line. Three and two, the count runner at second base. Nobody out. It's going to be a foul ball. So the eighth pitch to come here for Andrew Major, the shortstop for the Trojans. Way outside for ball four. So a hit by pitch and a walk. That's going to bring up the center fielder, Vincent. Vincent will step in with nobody out. Runners at first and second. He's grounded out to Bassler and flew out to Kern. We're going to get a visit to the mound. We're going to get a pitching change. We'll get those changes and be back. Blue Devils trailing four to two here in the top of the fifth. We're almost halfway through this one. I'll be back.
pitching change has been made by the Blue Devils. Number 50, Bryson Vodder comes in. Vodder is from Topeka, Kansas. He has a 4.66 ERA, has a 1-2 record on the year. He will inherit runners at first and second with nobody out. His first challenge will be Vincent. Vincent Costopoulos and Marn scheduled up for the Colby College Trojans. Colby and Trojans is so close to Cali and Tigers that I have a hard time with that because we don't play Colby very often except in the playoffs with them being the cross to the west side of the conference. Vincent steps in. He's grounded out and been out on a fly to center field. There's the bunt. The bunt is down. Vodder down to first. So Vodder off the mound for the 1-3 sack bunt by Vincent. Runners now at second and third for Kostopoulos. Now batting the first baseman, number 29, Zach Kostopoulos. Kostopoulos will step in with runners at second and third. One out now. That's inside for a ball. Kostopoulos is from Cheyenne, Wyoming. There's a ground ball back to Vodder. Vodder's going to look back the runner at third and then over to first for the 1-3 ground out. So a hit by pitch and a walk. And the sack bunt and a ground out by Kastopoulos. That's going to bring up Jax Marn, the catcher. The catcher will step in with runners at second and third. And two outs now to face Vodder. Marn has reached on a base on balls and had a soft line drive to Goldbeck. There's a foul ball back and hit it over to the Soccer field. Owen won the count on the catcher, Jack Smarn. Strike catches the outside corner. That's down low, nicely blocked by Olsen. Keep the runners in check at second and third. Four to two lead here in the top of the fifth for the Trojans of Colby over the Blue Devils of Kansas City, Kansas Community College here on the campus in Kansas City, Kansas. And the swing and the miss. So Vauder comes in and gets a sack bunt, another little number out to him, and then a strikeout. So no runs on, no hits. We've made it halfway through this one, Blue Devils Trail 4-2. to two. Stay with me, I'll be back.
All right, to the bottom of the fifth we go. Mervosh, Goldback, and Patterson scheduled up. Mervosh steps in. He's had a ground out and an RBI double in this one. He takes strike one. 0-1-1 the count on the third baseman, Jackson Mervosh. Schroeder back for another inning of work. That's down low. Padilla, Vincent, and Sherry across the outfield. Roth, Major, Ellert, and Kostopoulos across the infield. Marn behind the plate, and Schroeder has gone all the way so far here in the fifth. There's a foul ball back to the screen, so two and one the count. On the third baseman, Jackson Mervosh. The ball headed into left field. Past Roth for a leadoff base hit for Mervosh. That'll bring up Gary Goldbeck. Goldbeck has a base hit and a stolen base and a fly out to center field. He'll step in to face Schroeder for the third time. He has a runner at first base. Nobody out. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. Owen won the. We'll toss over to first, nothing going on. Mervosh with the lead off base hit. That's up high. One and one the count now. That's down low. Two and one the count now. Go back to shortstop for the Blue Devils. There's a one hopper and out at second. So Goldbeck hits a rocket at Kostopoulos and he grabs it on one hop, steps on the bag and down to major for the double play. That's gonna bring up Patterson. Patterson has a fly out to deep left and ground out to the shortstop major that misses for ball one so the leadoff base hit is a long drive <clears throat> there's a strike right through there Mervosh had absolutely nothing he could do on that one if he catches that in the air he steps on the bag and it's a double play if it one hops it happens just like it did there. He steps on third, first, throws down to second. Everybody yells tag. They tag Mervosh out, and it's a double play. So swinging a foul into the glove. And to the count on the defender. That's in the dirt. Halfway through this one, bottom half of the fifth inning, nine inning scheduled game. That's up high for ball four. So a two out walk issued to Patterson, see if Santiago can make them pay for that walk. Santiago will step in. Our switch hitters have all been to the right-handed side today. I don't think there's a temperature in the game, period. That's high and inside. 
Want to know the count on Frankie Santiago? That's strike called. I can't agree with you, Frankie. That seemed to be up to me. But nonetheless, ruled a ball. One, or excuse me, a strike. One and one the count. That stays up high. Two and one the count now. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Runner at first base is... Brady Patterson after the two out base on balls issued to him. There's a ball rifled into right. And Patterson gets the stop sign from Single Coach right. Goldbeck. So Santiago with the base hit keeps things moving here. It's going to bring up Freddie Nolan. Going to get a pitching change right here. We'll be back with that change. Blue Devils have got two outs. A couple of guys on. We'll be back. Pitching change has been made here in the fifth inning. Schroeder goes four and two-thirds of an inning. Sullivan will come in now. Sullivan is from Omaha, Nebraska. Ryan Sullivan, he has a 6.50 ERA with a one and two record. He will inherit runners at first and second with two outs. And Freddie Nolan, the fourth, at the plate. Nolan has reached on a base on balls, has a stolen base, and has been out on a fly to Sherry in right field. There's a strike right through there. There's our first lefty of the day. Sullivan on the mound. A one one the count with two outs here, two outs and two on. Four to two lead for the Trojans. Outside and in the dirt, blocked nicely by Marn. Marn, the catcher of the second game. Gines caught the first game. Breaking ball, fouls it back to the screen. So the Blue Devils get a base hit and a line drive that erases that for a double play and then a couple of walks since then. One and two the count. Waits on that fly ball. See how deep that ball gets. And that ball is out of here. So the three-run home run by Freddie Nolan, the fourth. He gets the three-run home run to put the Blue Devils up five to four. So a three RBI dinger to left field by Freddie Nolan, the fourth.
So that'll bring up Levi Martin. Martin steps in. He takes a strike. Martin has popped out to the shortstop and on a fly to the center fielder, Vincent. In the dirt. How many times, fellas, do the walks come back to bite you? We've had three walks that came in on a double, three RBI, and then two walks there before the home run by Nolan the fourth. So at least five of the walks today have been scored on then home runs. One and two, the count. Blue Devils now with a bottom of the fifth. There's a hit by a pitch. That's going to bring up Derek Olson. Olson will step in. Now batting the catcher, number 48, Derek Olson. Olson will step in with two outs and a runner at first base. Olson has been out on a fly to Sherry in right field and had a base hit to right field. The ball hit it over to the right side. That's going to be out of play. Oh, and one that count on the catcher, Derek Olson. There's a ground ball off the glove of the pitcher. That's going to be an infield hit, the ball off the glove of Ryan Sullivan, so that'll be a base hit. That's going to bring up Brady Kern. Kern will step in with runners at first and second base. Blue Devils with three runs in, in the inning to take a 5-4 lead. Kern steps in, two outs. There's a ball headed into center field. Back deep is Vincent and takes care of that. So the Blue Devils get three runs on three hits. And the Blue Devils take a 5-4 lead as we go to the top of the sixth inning. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the sixth we go. Ellert, Bradford, and Sherry scheduled up. Vauder back for another inning of work. Foul ball by Ellert. Ellert has an RBI base hit and a hit by a pitch. 
He is one for one with an RBI base hit in this game. That's down low. Excuse me, strike call. Excuse me, one and two the count. That's pitch done. His strike call is out in front of himself. Two and one the count. Alert the second baseman at the plate. The ball headed down to the bullpen, just short of the bullpen. Nolan the fourth, Kern and Martin in the outfield. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Santiago across the infield. Olsen behind the plate and Vauder on in relief of Johnson and Deer. That's high and outside. Two and two the count now. Excuse me, three and two the count. Vauder is from Topeka, Kansas. So ball headed down the right field line again. That one makes it into the bullpen area. We'll do the 3-2 again. Strike three called on that pitch. That pitch looked a little high right there, but ruled a strike. So the punch out on the leadoff hitter, Alex Ellert. That's going to bring up Cassius Bradford, the DH. He's had a base on balls, a strikeout, and a base hit to right field. There's a swing and a miss of that first pitch. Owen won the count. Blue Devils took the first game 16-9, took the single game yesterday 10-0 in five, excuse me, in seven yesterday. So they took the first two ga games of the series, one ball, one strike, one out to the designated hitter Bradford. Swing and a miss, one and two the count. Outside, two balls in, two strikes. Swing and a miss of the heater, going to be dropped, have to toss it down to first. Olsen tosses it down to first base to Santiago to finalize the out. It's going to bring up Gavin Sherry. He's two for three on the day. A couple of base hits, a ground out, one of those base hits. There's a ball laced down the left field line and foul. So out in front of that, quite a bunch. If he keeps that one fair, it's extra bases. That's down low. In the dirt down low. One and one the count on Gavin Sherry, the right fielder. Winging him his. Owen oh, to the count now. Strike three called. So Vauder strikes out the side. A couple of punch outs and a strikeout. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Blue Devils leading five to four. I'll be back.
All right, to the bottom of the sixth we go. Basler, Mervosh, and Goldbeck scheduled up. So now Basler will move over to the right-handed side wall facing the left-hander. Basler is one for three in this second game. He's had a ground out, a base hit, and a fly out. And there is ball one. One and oh the count on the second baseman, Peyton Basler. A base hit through the hole in left between short and third. Layoff single by Peyton Bassler. That'll bring up Mervosh. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Jackson Mervosh. Mervosh is grounded out to Ellard at second base and then had an RBI double and a base hit. So two for three with an RBI in the second game. Takes ball one, one and over the count. That's down low. Two and over the count. Foul ball back into the screen. Sullivan came in during the fifth inning. A lefty from Omaha, Nebraska. Two and one the count. There's a strike right through there. Two balls and two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first base. Is Peyton Basler the second baseman? Throw over to first base, back in safely is Basler. There's a ball headed up the middle. So Mervosh with a base hit right back up the middle. That's going to bring up Gary Goldbeck. Gary has a base hit, a fly out, and then hit a wicked line drive at Kostopoulos at right for the double play. Little check swing there, he ruled a ball. One and oh the count. Nobody out, runners at the corners. Second game of the day, nine innings scheduled game. We're in the sixth. There's a breaking ball, catches this. Corner sweeping across the outside corner, lefty versus lefty here. One and oh the count on Goldbeck. That's high and inside. 2 and 0 oh the count. Gary Goldbeck, the shortstop for the Blue Devils. Way outside. 3 and 0 oh the count. There's ball four. So that base on balls is going to load it up for Brady Patterson. Now batting with the ace, number two, Brady Patterson. Patterson will step in with the bases full of Blue Devils. <coughs> Excuse me, see if he can get something on the outfield grass and we'll watch him run. He's been out on a fly, a ground out, and reached on a base on balls. But he did have a home run in the first game today. That's low and inside for one ball, no strikes. 
Brady Patterson designated hitter in this second game. That's going to be found back and out of play. One and one the count. Blue Devils leading 5-4. Bottom of the sixth. That misses outside. Two and one the count. Hitters pitch right here, two and one. There's a line drive that's into the corner. That's going to score at least two. Ball gets away. That's going to score three. And coming to third and doesn't handle the ball, does the ball took a funky hop on it. So Patterson with the triple. And that scores three runs. Now Santiago will move over to the right-handed side. Blue Devils now with eight runs. Eight four is the score. And that brings up Santiago. Santiago takes a ball on that first pitch. Santiago's been out on a fly, had an RBI hit by pitch, and reached on a base on balls. Verb to face the lefty on the right-handed side now. Swing and a miss of that breaking ball by Sullivan. Sullivan on in relief of Schroeder. And there's a foul ball. Frankie not happy with his swing there, kind of a half-hearted swing. Comes the one-two pitch, waits on it, grounds it at the third baseman. He's up with it and has an error on the throw by Roth, and the run scores on the air. So Santiago reaches on an air and a run scores. And that will make it 9-4. So Nolan the fourth will come up. Nolan the fourth has reached on a base on balls, had a fly out and a three run home run in the fifth. That's inside. Runner at second base. There's a strike at the waist outside half of the plate. So Santiago reaches on an error and an RBI scores on that error. One and one the count, still nobody out. That's down low. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Santiago at second base. Strike three called. So Nolan the fourth is called out on strikes. The side corner. That's going to bring up Levi Martin, the right fielder. 
Martin has popped out a couple of times and has been hit by a pitch. Yes, one out. The punch out of Nolan. We had the air five, so a strike called on that strike check swing. Couple of base hits, a base on balls. A triple. Is that foul ball backing out of play? Then an air. And then the punch out. So yes, one out. On to the count. On Levi Martin. Breaking ball strike three called. So back-to-back -back punch outs on Nolan, the fourth, and Martin. So that's going to bring up Olsen. Olsen is two for three in this second game. Had a fly out and a couple of base hits. Swing and a miss of that pitch. Owen won the count. Swing and a miss. Another pitch. Both of those pitches outside half of the plate. Not breaking balls. Fastballs on the outside part of the plate, and he swung through both of those. So 0 and 2 on Derek Olson. It's a foul ball back and out of play. No doubt in my mind, if he doesn't foul that one away, he's rung up on strikes. So a nice job getting a piece of that and earns himself another pitch. The ball headed into right field. And shallow right field that's taken care of by Ellert for the final out of the inning. The Blue Devils. The Blue Devils pick up four runs on two hits and they take their lead out to nine to four. I'll be back. All right, to the top of the seventh we go. Vauder back for another inning of work. Roth, Padilla, and Major scheduled up. There's a one-hopper 
two go back and over to Santiago for the 6-3 ground out. That'll bring up Padilla. Padilla will step in with one out and nobody on. Padilla is hit into a 6-4-3 double play. Had a solo home run and hit by a pitch and had a stolen base. 1-0 the count on Padilla. There's a strike called for breaking ball right at the bottom of the zone. One and one that count. Just a little bit outside. A high chopper to Mervosh. Loads up the rifle, shoots it across to Santiago for the 5 3 ground out. So a 6 3 ground out, a 5 3 ground out. And that'll bring up Major. Major is struck out, flew out, and reached on a base on balls. Swing and a miss of that breaking ball. Fodder struck out the side his last inning. It's a foul ball back into the screen. He came in during the fifth, had two runners on, and had a sack bunt that he took care of, 1-3, then a number to him, 1-3, and a strikeout. There's a ball headed down the right field line and foul. Then he struck out the side. Now he has a couple of ground outs. So he has retired eight in a row since coming in. Hopefully I didn't just jinx him. One and two the count. Top of the seventh inning action, game two, nine innings scheduled game. That's inside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Foul ball headed for the woods. Nope, actually headed for the soccer field. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two again. The shortstop Andrew Major hooked up against Vodder on the mound for the Blue Devils. Another foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at bat. Fourth coming. Two and two the count. Way outside, all the way back to the screen. Nolan the fourth, Kern and Martin left to right across the outfield. Mervosh, Goldbeck, Basler, Santiago left to right across the field. Olsen behind the plate. Vauder on in relief of Johnson and Deer. The 3 2. Little soft pop up out into shallow right field, and that's taken care of by Basler, so another three up, three down inning for Vodder. No runs on, no hits. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, Blue Devils leading nine to four.
All right, pitching change has been made. Anthony Chatwood from Innisfail, Alberta. Scheduled to face Brady Kern. There's a strike called inside part of the plate. Chatwood has 11.81 ERA. 0-2 is his record. Righty on the mound. And a strike called said that he offered it that, so... One and one account. I think it might be 0-2. We'll see what the first pitch was. There's a ground ball at the third baseman row, and that throw is on the money to Kostopoulos for the 5-3 ground out. Back to the top of the order. Now batting the second baseman, number two, Peyton Basler. Basler will move back over to the left-handed side facing Chatwood, the righty on the mound in relief. Basler, two for four, has a couple of base hits. That's outside. He's got a ground out and a fly out and a couple of base hits in this one. Out of play over the third base dugout. Padilla Vincent, Sherry, left to right across the outfield. His defense behind him. Roth, Major, Ellert, and Kostopoulos with Marn behind the plate. That's down low. Little arm pitching action here by Chatwood. Bottom of the seventh inning. Blue Devils lead by five. There's a ball headed right up the middle for the base hit. That'll bring up Mervosh. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Jackson Mervosh. Mervosh is three for four in this game with a couple of base hits, a double. The RBI came with the double. There's a strike right through there. On one the count on the third baseman. Jackson Mervosh. Basler at first. That's up high. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Toss over to first. Basler back in safely. Basler three for five on the day with three base hits in this one. Runner goes. And the ball into the outfield headed over to third is Basler. So Basler with the stolen base, then he moves up on the throwing air to the outfield. So he's over at third base. For Mervosh with one out. Two and one the count on Mervosh. Infield in at the grass. That's way outside. Good job by Marn to go out and backhand that one. There's no block in that bowl. You either get it on a short hop or you don't get it. Three and one the count now. Foul ball headed for the corner of the soccer field. Three and one the count. Nine to four lead for the Blue Devils. They bat here in the bottom of the seventh. Scheduled nine inning game. That's outside. So Mervosh with the base on balls. Now batting the shortstop, number four, Garrett Goldbeck. 
That's going to bring up Goldbeck. Goldbeck has one for three on the day with a base hit and a base on balls. He had a wicked line drive at the first baseman that yielded a double play. Wasn't anything for Mervosh to do on that. One and oh, the count, I believe. One out, runners at the corners. Runner goes. Gonna not throw down. Big jump by Mervosh. Comes the pitch to go back. There's a ball headed right back up the middle. That's going to score two. So Goldbeck with a high hopper right back up the middle. By Goldbeck. So that adds two more to the total. That'll bring up Patterson. Patterson will step in. He had a triple, a three RBI triple his last time up. Takes outside ball one. Goldbeck at first, Patterson at the plate. There's a strike, catches the outside corner. One ball, one strike, one out. Couple of ones on the board in an 11 for the Blue Devils. Runner goes. And stolen base by Goldbeck. Two and one the count. Two balls, one strike, one out, runner at second. That's up high. Three and one the count. Patterson may not see anything too close to the strike zone. Three and one count here with a runner at second base and first base open. But then you have to deal with Santiago. Here comes the 3-1. That's inside ball four. So that will bring up Santiago. Santiago will step in with runners at first and second, one out. Santiago is 0 for 3 in this second game. There's a strike called. He did drive in a run when the third baseman, Roth, made an error on the ground ball to him. That ball's wide of first base. So Owen to the count. On the first baseman, Frankie Santiago. Oh, for two he is. I may have said oh, for three. He did get an RBI on a hit by pitch when the bases were loaded. Oh, and two, the count on him here. That's way outside. One and two, the count. Comes the 0 2 from Chatwood. 
There's a hit by a pitch. That'll load it up for Freddie Nolan, the fourth. Going to get a visit to the mound. Most probably a pitching change. Yes, it appears it is. We'll take a break. We'll be back. The bases are loaded with one out. And the winning spread by 10 run is at the plate. We'll be back. Pitching change has been made. Bring in the lefty, number 35, Owen Harriet. He's from Red Deer, Alberta. He has 12.66 ERA, Owen record on the year. Interesting that you would take out your right-hander and bring in a left-hander to throw against the right-handed hitting. Nolan the fourth. Nolan has walked, been out on a fly, had a three-run home run, and been called out on strikes. So Nolan, the fourth, steps in. With one out, and the bases are full of Blue Devils. Winning run is at first base. There's a high fly ball to right field. See if that's going to be deep enough to score the run, and it does. So a sack fly by Nolan, the fourth. Now there's two outs, and that'll bring up Levi Martin. Number 34, Levi Martin. Martin will step in with runners at first and third. The Blue Devils now lead 12 to four. Martin steps in. Martin has popped out a couple of times, been hit by a pitch and called out on strikes. Want to know the count on him with runners at the corners and two outs. There's a foul ball over there between Coach Goldback and Roth at third base. One and one, the count on Martin. That's in the dirt, blocked nicely by Martin. Two and one, the count, I believe. Lefty on the mound, Harriet on in relief. There's a ground ball headed at the shortstop and He's going to be safe. That throw from Major pulls off Kostopoulos. So that's going to be a throwing error, and that will yield a run. Now that is the catcher, number 48, Derek Olson. So that will bring up Olson. 13-4 to now the score. Have a pinch runner at first. Not sure if that's Widener or Pachoric. We'll find out shortly here. Oh, really? Olsen at the plate. 
There's a ball headed into right field. And if the run scores, there's the throw at home. And the ball kind of hopped up. And that is an RBI base hit. And that finalizes the spread. So the Blue Devils take all three games today. They take this one 14 to four in seven innings. So Olsen with the base hit and the RBI making it 14 to four. I'll get some paperwork done here. And that makes it 14 to four is the final. So game two is final with the run rule. The Blue Devils take the second game. So they take all three games yesterday, 10-0 in five. The first one today, 16-9 in seven, and then 14-4 here in this one in seven innings. So the Blue Devils get the sweep with the Colby Trojans and we'll be back here on Tuesday and then Thursday. I'll bring you those games. Please be safe tonight. Thanks for watching and listening. Listening. A reminder, if you would like to make a donation, go to 4 There's a donation page. All donations go to the broadcast for KCK Blue Devils Baseball. That's it from the campus of Kansas City Community College Blue Devils. We'll see you on Tuesday. Have a good evening. Good night.